Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to play DVD movies on your Windows 11 computer. So starting with Windows 10, it became more challenging to actually play DVDs. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to use the VLC Media Player. And if you don't have it on your computer, we're going to go ahead and have to install it. So go ahead and open up a web browser of your choice. Doesn't matter to me, but we're going to use Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And you want to search for VLC Media Player. So go ahead and just search for that. One of the best results should be from a website that says videoland.org. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the Download VLC button. And give it a moment here, it's about 40 megabytes in size. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and open up that file to run it. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Select your installation language and then select next. Agree to the license agreement and then select next again. Select next again and select install. Okay, so once that's done, you can keep the check mark to run the VLC media player. Otherwise, you can open up the desktop shortcut, or you can search for it too in the search menu. So we're going to go ahead and select continue, and we're going to make this full screen here. All you have to do is select the media tab. Make sure your DVD is inserted into your computer as well, and then select open disk. If you have a disk in your optical drive, go ahead and just select the play button. And that's all you have to do. There is no DVD on my computer, so that's why we have an error here. But that's all you have to do in order to actually open up the DVD as long as it's readable. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.